Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. Now this is a huge one. Valve just dropped three of its biggest news updates since the launch of the Steam Deck. The first being that the very anticipated official Steam Deck docking station is finally ready to be sold. With three USB-A 3.1 ports, a USB-C port for power, DisplayPort, HDMI and a Gigabit Ethernet port, the docking station has all the connectivity you need. It's the perfect way to connect your Steam Deck to power, up to two external displays and any number of other peripherals. Good guy Valve, however, are letting us know that if having the official dock isn't that important to us, we're welcome to use any other USB-C dock or hub as well. The hard work Valve did on SteamOS to make the docking station work great with the Steam Deck helps improve compatibility with other third-party hubs and docks as well, as you might have seen on my channel already. Apart from that awesome hardware news, Valve are also highlighting the fact that they have been working extremely hard on the software development, and that's just to say the least. As we all know by now, Valve is spitting out software updates at a rapid pace, and just to name a few, they have dropped a bunch of UI, software and OS updates to improve the dock experience, not only for the official docking station, but for all connected docks, hubs and peripherals. The team has added scaling, resolution and refresh rate settings for external displays, as well as a broad compatibility for external displays displays, peripherals and audio out scenarios. Steam input virtual menus have been completely refreshed and redesigned. Now you can name virtual menus, move them to different sources and have more control over icons and colors. They've also made a more stable offline mode which won't bug out and require you to connect to the internet to play a game, as some users experienced issues with in the past. And the third and arguably the biggest news update since the initial reveal of the Steam Deck is that Steam Deck is available now without reservation for anyone who wants to buy it. For everyone that booked the Steam Deck for more than a year ago, the queue to actually be able to buy it and get it shipped have been miles long. They have worked hard over the past year to address shortages and solve logistic issues, and because of these efforts they are now manufacturing and shipping Steam Decks at their highest rate ever. Despite the ever increasing reservation rate, they've been able to beat their own shipping estimates and as of today, finally complete that queue. So as you can see, that's three absolutely amazing news updates for us who loves this device as well as for those who are looking to buy it. Not having to wait a year for your reservation to kick in sounds promising, right? I also want to take this opportunity to let you know that I have tons of videos of this amazing device and how to get the most out of it. Some of my most popular ones are my emulation guides, my gameplay overviews and my tips and tricks on how to get more storage and more. So make sure to check those out as well. If you have found this video useful please let me know by giving it a like and please comment what you're playing on your steam deck right now if you don't have one are you planning to get one now that you don't have to wait as long oh and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want more content like this catch you in the next one thanks for watching